Hello all, welcome to our new series Learn German Easily. In this lesson, we will be learning Das Perfect. That is how to build sentence in past tense. Let us understand what is perfect. Perfect is equivalent to present perfect tense in English. While writing perfect sentence, we will need helping verb, which is haben or sein verb. And we will need participles Y form of verb. Now participles Y form of verb you have to learn as it is. Let us understand sentence construction. Sentence construction is like simple present tense sentence construction. Here only you have to add helping verb. Let us see. If you are writing normal sentence, first position will be Second position will be of helping verb, either haben or sein verb in conjugated form. Then after that, if you have object in the sentence, you can write object. And at the end of the sentence, you have to write participles Y form of verb. Now this helping verb will be depend on your participles Y verb. If you are writing Wefrager, first position will be of Wefrager word. Second position will be of helping verb in conjugated form. Then if you have object, you can write up to your helping verb. And at the end of the sentence, you have to write participles Y form of verb. If you are writing indirect question, then first position will be of helping verb, either haben or sein in conjugated form. Then after that, you have to write subject, followed by subject. If you have object, you can write it. And then again, at the end of the sentence, you have to write participles Y form of verb. So here you can observe whether it is normal sentence or way frag or indirect frag or participles by form of verb will be at the end always. Let us see with which participles by verb use haben as a helping verb or sein as a helping verb. Verbs showing change of place, change of state and few specific verbs are used with helping verb sein and most of the verbs are used with helping verb haben. Tim hat mir deine Adresse gegeben. This sentence gegeben is participles Y form of verb geben. With geben, haben is helping verb because geben is not showing any change in position or change in state. And according to rule, we have to write helping verb at second position, and that is why hat is there at second position and participles Y form of verb is there at the end of the sentence. Sie hat die Tabletten nicht genommen. In this sentence, genommen is participles Y form of verb nehmen, which is haben verb and that is why conjugated form of haben verb which is hat is written at the second position and genomen is there at the end of the sentence which is participles Y form of verb. Ich habe nur drei Stunden geschlafen. Geschlafen is participles Y form of verb schlafen. Now geschlafen is not showing any position change or state change so we have to use it with verb haben and that is why conjugated form of haben is there at second position and geschlafen which is participles Y form of verb schlafen it is at the end of the sentence. Hast du den Film gesehen? Gesehen is participles Y form of verb sehen, which is haben verb. That means it has to be used with verb haben. And that is why conjugated form of haben is there at first position as this is indirect question. And gesehen is there at the end of the question according to the rule of perfect sentence. Has du mein Buch gelesen? Gelesen is participles Y form of verb lesen, which is haben verb, and that is why conjugated form of haben is there at first position as we are writing indirect question. And gelesen is written at the end of the question. Wann hast du deine Hausaufgabe gemacht? Gemacht is participles Y form of verb machen which is haben verb that is why 
conjugated form of haben is there at second position as we are writing here we frage and gemacht is there at the end of the question according to the rule welchen pullover hat er gekauft gekauft is participial form of verb kaufen which is haben verb but that is why conjugated form of verb haben is there and get out is written at the end of the question as we are writing way frago wann bist du gekommen gekommen is participial by form of verb kommen kommen shows the position change and that is why this has to be used with helping verb sein and that is why conjugated form of sein verb is at second position as we are writing We travel and he come is there at the end of the question. Ich bin gestern zu Hause geblieben. Geblieben is participial form of verb bleiben. Now geblieben is a special verb which has to be with helping verb sein and that is why conjugated form of sein verb is there at second position and geblieben is there at the end of the sentence. Bist du im Mai nach Berlin gefahren? Gefahren is participial by form of verb fahren. Now fahren shows in your position and that is why it has to be with helping verb sein. That is why bist is there at first position as we are writing indirect question and gefahren which is participial by form of verb at the end of the question. we will see how to use train bar verb and modal verb in perfect sentence in next video